¿Qué hace, loco? Bueno, seguimos, ¿eh? Seguimos, seguimos. Eh, estamos en el medio del quilombo este. Creo que me está... Bichitos por algún lado, ¿no? ¿Cómo me lo salté? Después hay un par ahí. Ok, acá es donde no quiero ir. Está bien. A ver si puedo ir por acá. Vamos recorriendo el mapa, eh. Bien, ¿en dónde quería ir? Eso de cobre. Mierda, hay acá, a ver. Esperaba otra cosa. Esperaba como un... Esperaba una cueva, como la que fuimos antes, en el capítulo anterior. ¡Apa! Cordillera. ¿Ves que por acá tengo que ir? Vamos a una cosa. Voy a volver. Porque me sueña raro que... Que cambiemos de, de golpe el... Cambiemos de golpe la zona. Así que voy a volver. Lo bueno es que tenemos viaje rápido, así que... Está bueno. Ahora tengo que venir para abajo. Por acá. En cuanto a los combos, creo que es. Creo que si haces un daño de 10.000, te da un trofeo. A ver, tenemos por acá. Por acá se puede. Podría. Ah, esto es un, un acceso. Pero vamos a meternos por acá. Vamos a ver qué pasa acá adentro. 5. Y no el 26. Vamos. Begin! Let's go! Hit it! 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 Hit it!
are bearing fruit. Yo gastando los PC. Still thinking about how to act around Dohalim? That obvious, huh? Except I don't think I'll be changing much after all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade, the same way I would with you or anyone else. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. But isn't that what friends do too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Which, in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies, and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... Oops! Sorry about that. Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it, what do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term. But you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Does that mean eating vegetables too? Isn't that obvious? It does. Which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. You hear that, Law? Sounds like you'll be eating your greens after all. Ugh. What is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan, leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't think... That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities, regardless of who we may face. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Hmm. Something wrong? You look like you're deep in thought. Not exactly. I was merely thinking about you two and your sense of etiquette. Uh, oh? Etiquette? Indeed. To be quite frank, I find your lack of manners to be nigh intolerable. That's not being frank, that's being an... and... forget it! Do we really need to talk about this now? Yes. I find such impropriety on your parts to be deeply unsettling. 
It concerns me greatly. What do you want us to do? We were slaves. We never got to learn how to be proper like you. Yeah, what he said. Maybe you missed how we were just focused on surviving. Perhaps, but Kisara here demonstrates that it's quite possible for a Denon to learn proper manners. That's because I was given the opportunity to learn. Moreover, my duties as a guardsman required it. Not every realm is like Menencia, as you well know. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to hold us to some other city standards. Exactly! You've got to remember what it's been like for us living under the Rena elsewhere. Hmm. I will concede that you do indeed make a valid point. It would appear, for all my espousing the virtues of equality between our peoples, I was still looking down on the two of you. You don't need to beat yourself up. I wasn't that offended by what you said, man. Nevertheless, I shall mind my words from here on out. Having said that, I do believe you two would still benefit from learning the basics of proper society. I would be more than happy to teach you both when we camp out, if you like. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Acting all prim and proper isn't really my style. If you say so. How about you, Law? Would you like to learn? Although I suppose my first task is to reform your attitude toward the idea of good etiquette. You're not gonna let this go, are you? Doholim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No... Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position well, of the Lord. Eh? You flatter me. But my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by... Well, la única que revive la chica. Is that why you wait until the last second Entre before you dodge attacks? Pura, to avoid unnecessary movements? No. I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Este capítulo, tengo que hacer dos oh cosas. yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with Una, your rod after you dodge attacks. I guess nivel, that's nivel 23, why. Nivel 27. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Y lo segundo es conseguir más gelatina. It'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. <sighs> Conseguir gelatinas. Ya, tengo 58 pesos. Hay que pasar. Ya fue una grabada. Seguramente donde estábamos yendo antes, la cordillera, es el, el otro, la otra zona. Hey, let's stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niaz, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses... It will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already. I need a break, so we're taking one. I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... Been looking for you. For me, why?
Uy, tengo que pelear con el loquito este. Sí, sí, todos, todos. Said you were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the? That is all I desire. El pachín misterioso nivel 28. Adentro, muchacho. Venga, venga, venga. Y ya atacar a mí, ¿viste? Uy, mira cómo me toca luego. Ah, lo bueno es que recuperé los PC. Ay, no lo llegué a agarrar. Ya, me ataca a mí nada más. Ay, Dios. Ay, mira lo que me saca de vida. Ya, yo tengo una habilidad de mierda para aquí. Ahí se la agarró con otra, ¿no? Uh, este es para Chim, me la va a poner. That all that you've got. Very well, then die.
Till next time. Eh, hey, cagón. No me jodas que murió. No, no murió, no murió. Thanks, but you're kind of crushing me. Sorry. It's okay. And so am I. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad. That's... Shion, we thought I'm you were... I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. I didn't. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Uh? Alfin? Sorry, I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine, really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Loco este es poderoso, eh? No but sabe. Think of it. Between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Niaz, the capital of Mahag Sar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. One more. <sighs> hey. Mm. Qué pobre la piba, a la maga la recagaron a palo, loco. <laughs> y nadie pregunta por la pobrecita. ¿De dónde vengo? Ah, vengo de acá. ¿Hay algo más por acá? La maga le pegó dos patadas, la enterró contra la pared, loco. Y nadie le pregunta, che, lo quita, ¿cómo estás? Me chupa un huevo, loco. Punto bien. How are you holding up after that last fight? You're not too hurt, are you? I'm fine, really. See for yourself. If things get too tough out there, go ahead and fall back. I can take a beating if I need to. I'm not here just to stand around and have everyone protect me. I get that, but there's nothing wrong with admitting you have weaknesses too. Do I look like I'm just trying to put on a brave face to you? Uh, <laughs> I can't feel pain, but you still can, can't you? <sighs> look. I appreciate you're trying to look out for me, 
but even you go down in fights from time to time. Please, stop trying to babysit me. It's getting old. It's not that. I just... Muy gótico, ¿no? Ese. Muy pétrico. Mira, Tim Burton. Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> This is horrible. Is there truly no one here? Un búho cerca. Cuatro entradas. Vamos por acá primero. Ahí está el búho, mira. Este fue fácil. Eh, uno que. No Hay unos huevos que están reocultos. Cerrado. Primera puerta, cerrada. those out in the valley windmills they're huge they're most likely used to harvest wind astral energy so they have to be big Stop right there. Don't move. They have us surrounded. Who are you? Where did you come from? You first. Show yourself. I'm the one asking the questions here. Don't try anything funny. One wrong move, and I guarantee we'll blow you away. What are you... My name is Alfin. I came here from Calaglia. Alfin? The wielder of the Blazing Sword? Getting pretty famous, isn't he? Here is my proof. Will that suffice? Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? No need. I believe you. I'm Bayfong, of the Darkwings. Sorry for threatening to blow you away. We're still hunting down the remnants of the enemy forces. So everyone's more than a bit on edge right now. Please forgive me. 
remaining? Wait, you mean you already took down the Lord of this realm? That's right. We took her weapons and turned them right back on her. Are you the Danon leader here in Niez? Nah, I'm just one of the commanders. Deadheim's the one who runs the show. I'd be happy to take you to him. Just one problem. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. <sighs> you do understand, right? I mean, we only just liberated the city from their kind. Everyone's short on trust. And for good reason. Especially Deadheim. I think it'd be best if those two waited outside. Not going to happen. I don't think it's a good idea for us to split up. It's too dangerous. <sighs> then it's on your head, friend. Our base is that way. You could have left me behind, you know. This isn't just about you, Dohalim. Ah, uh, yes. I guess even after you beat the Renans, your work. ¿Qué hacemos, locos? Ya está, está liberado esto. We just begun, huh? Yeah. This place seems like it's got a lot of things to fix. Ya por acá no puedo ir. Joe Halim, you forgot to take care of the fire yesterday. What do you mean, take care of? Ah, yes. You meant to put it out? Yep. If it stays lit, we could end up in real trouble real fast. I see. I apologize for not realizing that. I shall be more careful in the future. The way he's talking, it's like the thought of putting it out himself never even occurred to him. Moving on, Dohalim, I should mention that the clasp for your cape is about to come undone. Oh, yes. I tried to fix that myself, but it simply refused to cooperate with me. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Are you telling me Renans can't even dress themselves? Lords like Dohalim have attendants that take care of just about everything they need, so I'm not surprised he sometimes struggles with the basics. Even by those standards, you've got to admit, this is still a little extreme. Shion has got a point. I mean, you don't see Renans like her needing so much help to get stuff done. In my case, circumstances forced me to learn how to be independent. Even so, I still think Dohalim could afford to pick up a few more self-sufficient skills. Hmm. Well, specifically speaking, what would you suggest that I learn? For starters, I think it'd be good for you to learn how to dress. And put on shoes. How to comb your hair is equally important. And learning to manage your possessions better. And then from there... She sounds like his mom rattling all that off. Oh, oh another parece. thing. About your owl, Rinwell. What? What is it? When he starts to molt, would you be willing to give me his old feathers? I think I could find a use for them. What do you intend to do with those? Well, recently, I haven't been sleeping well. However, I hear pillows made from owl feathers are very comfortable and wish to make one. <sighs> this is why I hate you, Renans! Did I say something offensive? Next time, put your own needs aside for a second and think about how someone might react first. Then consider Pero cuando dijo cuando cambien las plumas, no es que va a desplumar al bicho. Not this way, I guess. Un poco tan sensible, loco. Bueno, a ver, ahí no puedo ir. No, ahí acá. Todo está cerrado, ¿no? que estamos en, el cuarto, en la cuarta zona cuarto Lord que aparentemente está derrotado ahora si lo derrocaron ¿dónde está? You play by my rules here. Just remember that. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Those other lords must have been real pushovers, huh? 
Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you brat. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Why, you! So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? How'd you pull that off? Ha! <laughs> we just swiped the Renan's explosives. And then we blasted them all to hell and back. Explosives? That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? I didn't, that's how. But the chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. <sighs> and the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. She ran? A lord? Yeah. The lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. But not for long. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quietly. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the blazing sword here. The whole reason you're fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If so, Shut then... Shut mouth, witch! That's enough! If you're really fighting for us Danans, why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? I'm not going to kill these bastards. Oh. Is that the case, huh? Then tell me the point of this show. They're my friends. <sighs> friends? Renans are Renans. They're the scum-sucking bastards who've been draining our souls for 300 years now! But you know that. Maybe it's because you and that little lady are friends. And they don't have a sasso. Son of a. You'll pay for that. That's enough. Dead Eye. You know that was completely uncalled for. Hmm. All of you, get the hell out of my realm, and don't ever come back. This is Danon's realm, and it's ours, understand? I call the shots here, and I make the rules. I do, Deadime, leader of the Dark Way! Yeah, Deadime! Liberator Deadime! You are the true leader of this realm. We're not afraid of any bright eyes. It's only a matter of time before I throw every last Let's bright go. eye out of this realm! The Dark Wing! Hey, wait up. Told you so, didn't I? You should have left your Renan pals outside. You don't agree with him, do you? I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. If that's all, I think it's past time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadime said in there. <laughs> At least somebody's got some manners around here. He didn't used to be like that. But, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. He may never forgive the Renans. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bayfon? Dead I mentioned the lord is still on the run. Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Deadime. This isn't Deadime's war, and we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Shion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Hey, it's your funeral. Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be sure to keep you out of it. Before we set out, though, 
Is there anywhere around here we can rest? Sure. Building at the end of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging, to house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. And here's where I say my farewell. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renins as well? Oh, believe me. I've got my bone to pick with the Renins. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. <laughs> Let's head on over to that lodge. We'll figure out what our next move is there. I get the feeling Deadeim signed up to be a rebel, so he could have a roost to rule. Heck, he's no better than a lord. In some ways, he's even worse. I know. How could he use explosives on his own people? And yet, despite the toll of his actions, none of the Danans we've seen seem to question his assumed authority in the least. If anything, they may well consider him a hero, which would say a great deal toward how deeply they resented the Renans here. Still, I don't think this is as simple as saying the good guys won out over the bad ones. Yeah, I don't either. Deadeye might have managed to drive the Renans out of Niaz, but that doesn't make the way he did it okay. No matter which way you look at it. A victory that's earned by throwing away the lives of his own people? No, that isn't a victory at all. I can understand that the Danans here are standing up against their oppression, but that doesn't mean they have to humiliate all Renans just to settle the score. I'm perfectly able to stand up for myself, Alfin. Besides, I'm used to it by... But you shouldn't have to be, Shion. That's just... What I mean to say is... When you've been a slave for so long, it's easy to accept that's how it should be because it's all you've ever known. Constantly being belittled is no different. I don't think that's fair. For me or for you. <sighs> Bueno, descansa en la pujada, ah, mira, hay más diálogo. Eh, cuartel de las oscuras, que acá seguramente no voy a poder ir. Acá tengo dos misiones secundarias. La forzada. I just don't know, man. Don't know what? Did I manage to drive out a real live Renan Lord? That's incredible. And he seems to have a lot of supporters surrounding him, too. But he's got an attitude worse than any angry Zoogle. Plus, Niaz is in utter ruins. I don't have a clue what his game is. The Renans are powerful. And because of that, it takes a strong leader to have any hope of toppling them. However, when you take down one dictator only to replace them with another, ultimately it's just business as usual. If it'd been Zephyr instead of Deadeim, I don't think things would have turned out like this. Rinwell! Yeah, I think so too. Zephyr did things differently top to bottom. He's not the kind of person who would have forced his own views or decisions on other people. When you do that, you're ruling over others, not leading them. To be honest, I don't know what I would have wanted my dad to do if he was in that position. Law. The whole thing feels... Weird in a way. It's a weird kind of feeling, but at the same time, part of me also feels happy. Dead Eye Man and my dad are two very different men. For now, I'm content knowing that. Uy, como estamos con los diálogos, loco, eh? The city is liberated. Es el Solar Online. The air still hums with fear and anxiety. Ah, igual tranquilo. It reminds me all too well of how Vicente once was. Hums? You mean like music? Yeah, none of this sounds like music to my ears. In fact, I've never seen any Danans with musical instruments in my life. You don't need instruments to play music. It can emerge naturally from the sounds of people going about their day and the hustle and bustle of life. 
You seem to care a lot about music, Dohalim. I didn't know that about you. Have I not mentioned it? Before I was a candidate for the Lordship, I had my heart set on the life of a musician. You? A musician? Indeed. Music enriches the world around us. I train day and night to hone my art. Words could not describe my bliss, as my notes carried with them the sights and sounds of nature, the ebb and flow of time, and the thoughts of people on the wind. <clears throat> Dohalim. Forgive me. My loquaciousness can get the best of me at times. Don't apologize. It's interesting hearing what Renan culture is like. <laughs> Even though the Renans destroyed all of our arts and culture. Personally, I was interested in the music of Dana as well. The fact that generations of lords deemed music to be of no use to their slaves, and outright forbade the ownership of instruments, is lamentable. Not that my words can undo the damage already done. <laughs> Bueno, eh, a ver, tenemos dos misiones secundarias, como dije. Acá hay una. Creo que al medio no puedo ir todavía, ¿no? Bueno, vamos a dejar el capítulo de acá. Eh, continuamos en la posada. Nos vemos en la posada, descansamos y vemos, vemos cómo seguimos. Si el video te gustó, dale like, compartir, suscribirte, hacer todo eso. Te mando un saludo y nos vemos. Chao, chao.